Welcome to another tutorial. If you struggle with creating textures for your meshes, this one is for you. Today I will introduce Substance Painter, which allows you to create textures or edit existing ones. To begin with, uh, you just have to import your mesh. So click File, New, select your mesh, choose your resolution and hit OK. As you can see, we have two different viewports here. On the right side, we have 2D representation of your UV map, like, just like in Photoshop. And on the left side, we have entire mesh, which you can uh, rotate by holding Alt on your keyboard and using mouse buttons. You can also use your uh, wheel in mouse as well. On the left side, you have access to your assets list, like just materials, smart materials, masks, you can apply filters, brushes, you can of, co of course change alphas and import your own textures. And lastly, you can change entire environment of your uh, 3D scene. So let's start with dragging and dropping a new environment onto the scene. And as you can see, entire lightning changes. Um, you can also change um, the direction of light by holding shift and using right mouse button. And as you can see, represents shininess in IMVU Studio. So you can treat it like a guide. Before doing anything else, we need to bake our mesh maps. So go to Texture Set Settings, scroll down to the bottom, click on Bake Mesh Maps, and you can choose whichever you want to bake. You can also import your high definition meshes here. Click on Bake Selected Textures, wait a second and hit OK. This will allow you to get access to more features like ambient occlusion and many more. Now I want to show you Substance Painter in action. So let's go to materials and let's choose a simple material, something like bra brass pure. Let's just drag and drop this onto 3D scene or 2D scene. Go to layers and you can see the brass material is applied here and you have pro all the properties down the bottom. To show you more features of Substance Painter, I will apply a different texture. Let's go maybe with this one and I will remove the previous one. And as you can see, we can change almost every aspect of the texture like tiling. Let's go with this one. We can apply normal maps to this. We can also change color. Let's just go with a different color. Uh, as you can see, you can change roughness of this, sh of this texture. And this is something like a representation of convex reflections in uh, IMVU Studio. Let's go to technical uh, parameters and reduce normal intensity. All right, and we have our texture almost ready. You can also mix match and create your own uh, unique textures by just adding uh, different ones, as you can see, it stacks different textures so you can choose um, and create, you can draw on your textures. All right. Now we are ready to export our amazing texture. To do this, go to File and click on Export Textures. I created a preset that will be perfect for IMVU Studio and you can download this one from Creator Education Center and import to Substance Painter. So go to up Output Template and choose your IMVU preset. You don't have to change anything else because everything is applied into the preset. Maybe uh, besides padding, you can choose uh, dilatation, default background color, color and set it to 3 and hit Export. Now open Output Directory and as you can see, we have our textures exported successfully. We have uh, um, ambient occlusion, we have base color, a normal map direct X and normal map OpenGL, two different versions and two def different versions of shininess as well. If you are still using classic create mode, you can export to the view like you see here, just by going again the same steps and choose to the view and hit export. And one more time, 
as you can see we have our uh, textures with all the information ba baked into ready to use in classic client so that's all for this short tutorial thank you very much and see you on imview